What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are now moving and grooving to get to flying class. We've just come out of the Forbidden Forest, and we've just um, come across a lot of spiders. We did some ancient magic. We've got the talent tree now, and I'm looking forward to just exploring, getting our broom, and just exploring this whole land. So it's going to open up to us a lot more than rather than just running around everywhere. So, broken broom. Speaking of brooms, this broken broom belonged to Saline Wartenaby, Wartenaby, and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third, uh, third years. Uh, no one knows if she succeeded. Probably not. If it's if it's it, no right. I'm gonna guess we're gonna have to wait till morning, and. We will wake up. I think this kid is waiting for broom. I think he's excited as well for uh, for class. You excited? Lumos. Need a light. <laughs> so I'm super looking forward to uh, jumping onto this and, well, literally jumping onto this and starting our exploration. So here we go. So, the thing is as well, the reason I didn't want to do any, like, exploration without the broom is because I don't want to be running everywhere. Um, it'd be a bit of a pain. Um, and I guess you just could be revelioing all the time, which, Everybody again. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Oh. Oh. It is time. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today Hi. is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it. <laughs> now, let's see how Whoa. well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, hmm? your turn. Thank you. Up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Say it. Up. First try. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. <laughs> and if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Oh. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned <laughs> in one piece. This is brilliant. <laughs> this will take some getting used to. Oh, this is cool. It's smooth as well. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. This next nice set and of glide. It feels we'll nice. Around the grounds for more of a challenge. Hold R two to go. For oh, what a view! <laughs> That wasn't too bad. Ah, oh, the old finally were able to fly. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. This is the kid that was waiting up all night, wasn't it? The controls are really nice as well. Wow, our 
aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> Oh, the music is so good. They've done it so where the music fits so well with whatever, Maybe. whatever you're doing. Oh, it's really nice. That. Oh, well done. Have a moment. Oh. I see. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Give it to but me. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? <sighs> Can't say no to that. 100%. Do you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Lean forward. <laughs> Woo! Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. So there's a bar at the bottom. That um Dismount here. Shows how much speed boost we got left. Where have you two been? Um Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Yes, it was. Do I, I think I might need to go and buy my own broom now. We might need to go to Hogsmeade. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Keep an eye out for you in the sky. Quest complete, flying quest. Complete main quest, six out of six. Nice. We are now level 16. Oh, you probably noticed as well, my camera is up in the top left now. Because one thing I've noticed after I've been doing the edits and checking the video back... I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, 
Meet me outside the defense against the dark arts classroom. Oh. I know a discreet place near there. Ooh. Um, there's a lot more activity up in the top right, so. Uh, you should now see me in the top left. Uh, Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from I want a broom. And distractions. Can I get a broom? Hey. Madam Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Gryffindor should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now. Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. Oh. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. Ah. I need a broom. I need a broom, which means I need to go to Hogsmeade, because if I'm not mistaken, that is where we get one. So, map. Um, Hogsmeade map. There is a broom place in here, isn't there? What's that? All the butterflies. Talk to Clementine Wizardly. Conjuration spellcraft. Spoon which is sorting needs. A sporting goods to sell variety of brooms. Yes. Set the waypoint. And we're going there right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jog this a little, little adventure. But for what you're going to see, you're going to see me do the spell of teleportation. And bada bing, bada boom, we teleported. So we're now at the broom shop. Hello. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Huh? It's bodges. Bludges. I'm Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spint Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare Indeed. new weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Okay, so it's just a visual looking thing. Okay. Sounds quite the array of brooms. Let me have a look. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What have you got for me? What are we looking for today? Ooh. How much are they? Oh, 600. They're pretty cheap. That item is of the highest quality. I don't like It's got a little skirt on it. I don't like that. But... Whoa. Oh. I like the flame on the back. That item is of the highest quality. I've got a little saddlebags and a little lantern. I think I want to go for this one. That item is of the highest quality. I know you keep saying that, dude. Now you'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Nice. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. We've got some races to do now. An situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? I'm down for that. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. All right. The question is, is how do I activate... 
can't help but admire room. Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Alright. I do want to go to the claws shop, however. Oh, what the hell's going on there? <laughs> Hand them back. Hand what back, sir? We've not took a thing. Hand them back. Someone tried to steal. Alright, so I do want to check my gear real quick to make sure that we have got the best as possible on. So we can sell any excess we don't need. And we also found out in the last episode that even if we do sell them, we do still keep the visuals of them. So, which is pretty cool. What is that? Take this to the room of requirement to reveal its qualities. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so we don't want to sell that. And yeah, it seems like we've got the best of everything. And we can see the broom down here now. And we can change the visuals, broom upgrades. There's quite a few brooms. I wonder if we can get like the Nimbus 800. 1800. <laughs> or the 1900. I don't know. I don't know how how we access it. Zonko's jokes are frequented regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike. Zonko's is the place to buy pranks and jokes in Hogmeads. I swear it was just those ones, sir. Promise, sir. We never take more than those. Accurate. I tell you this, they'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You just wait till I see your... Na, 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 na. Taking down that troll in the village circle. We've got a side mission here as well. We might do this. So we are just going to go up here because... I think we might need a Lohomora, though. Because there's something... Rebellion. Maybe we don't. So, I've been requested as well to go to a secret place to learn some dark magic. I'm wondering if that's going to be our... You know? <laughs> um, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, which way is it need to go towards the... This way, isn't it? I'm trying to not use the map for everything and not learn things. I think it's this way. No, 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 no. It's up here. It's up here. Through here. To the left. Here it is. Oh, I thought this was the Dancing Socks kid. Hello. Ask, I'm all out of the new socks, so if your feet are smelly, I, you'll have to I work know you yourself. told me about the socks before. We do want to sell some things, though. I've got some things to sell. As long as we don't remove that question mark one, we want to keep hold of that until we get the room of requirement. One thing I am nitpicky about in this game, I do wish there was a select item or mark item as junk, and then sell all items as junk in the store. Because doing this is annoying. <laughs> so, there is some stuff in here, but... Ooh, 29. 29. That's fine. We'll I save cash. I expect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. I'm guessing we can, we have to... We can only use the broom once we leave the town. Uh, but let's go over to... Um, the boy down here. And grab this side quest whilst we're here. And find ourselves and find out who it is. And introduce yourself. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. You're welcome. Everyone keeps saying that's getting annoying now. Hello, who are you? Clementine Wizardly. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking Hi. to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. 
told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You, you want me to go me back to follow the butterflies into the forest? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. But very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, yes. how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. The thing is as well, if we want to get the most out of the game and get like 100% and all that kind of the stuff. butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Yes, and Good luck. I, I know, you, you just said your spoon. Um, we... We have to do the side quest before the seasons change, right? Because once the season change, everyone changes. Everyone changes. Like, I don't know if we're like... It's raining a lot now, so I don't know if the seasons are already changing. I don't know if it's going to be a snap of your fingers kind of weather's changed, apparently. Or if we're in autumn now, but I don't know. I don't know. Right, can Does I... Ask... get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? How do I ask my, my broom here? Oh. Yes. Now look what we can do. We can get around so much quicker. These rocks have seen better days. <laughs> this is cool. Revelio. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Let's go as high as we can here. What is that up there? Is that a dragon or something? I say a dragon. No, it's not. All right. What's all of these? I wonder if this is for the races. Yo, we can just go and explore everywhere now. The thing is as well, the map is huge. We can just go into here. Mm. Well... If we're talking beasts, it's the Nifra that's the real commodity. Surely you agree? I got it. Oh, you're a little son that say Treadwell. Has I know. Yo, that's cool. That's cool. I'm just wondering if there is um, a thing in the options here for me to... Uh, so it's not as zoomed in, you know. So it doesn't look like it. Okay, so I have to pull that menu up all the time. And then I'll just press circle to land. Okay. Good to know. Hmm. 
Revelio. If there's anything around here. Just a moonstone. Oh. Lucian Crimson Scarf. And it is going to be a buff to what I'm already wearing. So let's have a quick look at this. The 34. I'm done with that. What the hell? What's that? Oh, it's them chicken things. What is this? Goblins. I was only following orders. Leave your accusations in someone else's direction if you don't mind. I have a feeling this could be a mission. Perhaps not the best. What's up, everybody? Oh. I know I heard something that enjoys suffering, do you? That's the evil little Accio. unicorn. It's, a... it's always <laughs> Hello? Revelio. Levioso. Rebellion. Everybody seems to be in that main building right now. I feel like we're sneaking in here, but we're not sneaking in, you know? No? But we can destroy these, look. Totally by accident, but worked. Let me also. I'm guessing this is the place we can sneak in, but I don't know. Revelio. So that that box we lighting up before, we got like a little flame thing around here. I don't like the looks of that encampment. Whoa, collection updated. Laceration three. Revelio. Oh, hey. You call that spell cut? Oh. Expelliarmus, Accio. Oh. Incendio. I am a wizard. Revelio. Deafening one. Incendio. 
You only have Ranrock to blame. That is true. But what's in here? Coral ruins. I wonder if we're going to come here for a mission. And then maybe if I come later on, they're all gone. You know? Revelio. There's got to be goblins in here, right? Yeah, of course. Accio. Expelliant. Incendio. Such arrogance. I won't rest. Accio. Expelliant. Okay. I've got a serious level up right now. Rebellion. Okay, I can't use my broom in here then. Good to know. Over here, pop it. Ow, I messed up. Damn it. Damn it. I'm messing up. Bits. Okay. Totally, <laughs> totally messed up. Totally went in there. Totally forgot how to use spells. So let's go back in here and uh, F these guys up because that was insane. I should have healed in during fights, but I try, I'm trying not to. <laughs> trying not to. That was a little bit better until the end of that fight, but... The fights are so fun. You definitely feel a, a lot stronger when you start putting them talents in there. Not a lot of games make make that happen, you know? Where it feels like you'd be... Yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Revelio. Incendio. Don't know what that... Jesus. Incendio. Secret door. Huh. 
What is up, everybody? This is so much fun. This is so much fun. Is it going to put me to stop the start of the thing? I don't think it will do. Um, but I'm trying not to do it without healing. I want to get it nice and fluid, you know? All right, here we go again. You have a stew like what my mother used to make. Oh, 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 I pressed it as well. Oh, come on, you're getting locked into things now. <laughs> I will do it. I'm going to do it. My challenge... I'm challenging myself not to heal. This is like a little training ground for me right now. I want to get better at combat, and the only way I can do that is not getting hit. Right? So that's my plan. That was a quicker death. That was a quicker death. We got this bits. Okay, I might, I might have to heal. Maybe. 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 This is way too much fun. I could just do this for hours. Even if I am dying, it's so much fun. Alright. We've all told you but I have nice. I feel like sometimes when you press it, you get locked out. Yeah, you definitely got locked out. Also. Don't you try again, I beg you. I could do that. Potato. This is the I won't rest until you. Incendio. Let me also. Oh, that's I won't rest until you. Much too slow. Protego. You're right. Let me go. Oh. Oof. I feel like this, all this video is going to be is just me fighting this. 
And some of you are going, do this, Ben! Do this! All right, this is the one. I press circle when Okay, I'm drinking. Easily <laughs> How childish! Come on, bitch! See, when you're in mid wand waving, you can't dodge. You can't cancel it to dodge. You can't do that. So sometimes it's all about the perfect timing. Is this a time number five? <laughs> okay. This is the one. See, I'm pressing dodge here and it's not doing it, even though it wasn't dodge I needed. See, look how late that come up. God, I can't lift him up. Come here. There we go. Okay, we got it. It was a little messy. There was a good little point in that where we did pretty well. So, hopefully you guys all enjoyed that little bit of fighting. <laughs> I promise you, I will not do that kind of thing again. That was a lot of fun, though. I didn't want to heal. Sometimes you've got to challenge yourself to become better, and you just got to do it, and practice makes perfect. Revelio. 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 Is there anything else in here? Grab. Ooh. A chest. Nice. Okay. Is there an easier way for me to get out of here then? Running back? I'm guessing not. I do need my Alohomora spell. Hopefully we can get it in the first Dark Arts Magic class. Well, now they said Dark Arts Magic. The secret spells that we need. I think I want to go and do the Quidditch racing. I want to do more broom stuff. 
And I think the Quidditch racing is going to be a good little uh, little tester. Whoa, flight test. Here we go. Because then we can uh, look at possible upgrades. So this could be interesting. So come on a little flight with me. Can I go near this without landing? We can to unlock it. Oh, you can't enter while mounted? Oh, you can't go up there? Damn. This is so cool. Wonder why I can't go up there while mounted. Yeah, this whole mountain's off limits. There is spells and enchantments in the way. Oh, I'm so wish they're going to add Quidditch into this. That'd be so nice. Could you imagine that multiplayer with your friends whilst doing the Quidditch? Hey, you, Gryffindor. Yo. Amelda Rays? Albie Weeks sent me. Amelda Rays? <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. All right. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. <laughs> bumbling for baboons. For some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. All right. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. I don't know the course, but here we go. Made it. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh, we got this. Oh, oh. Success. Kid. That was close. <laughs> smashed it. Fun. Absolutely smashed her score. By at least, what, 40 seconds? 50? Uh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Uh, fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Do you mean I've just smashed the skill by noon of a minute? Challenge accepted then. 
Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. Nice. Okay. Oh, I love just how you can turn. They've done the mechanics so well on the broom. Like if you're flying yourself in your in, in your own, you I know how Mr. well Weeks it, will be glad it to hear works how I fared. so well. So, so well. But I think we're going to end this episode here. I just wanted to get the broom done. We did a bit of exploration. We went and fight the goblins for maybe about 20 minutes, maybe a bit longer. I don't know. Um, but I want to get better at the combat, hence the reason I did that. We did some Quidditch racing. And I'll see you in another video. So check out my other content right here. And I will see you in the next one. So keep smiling and I'll see you then.